Hello Drive Radio fans, Richard Rush here today with Walt McClain behind the camera. And today we're going to take a look at the 2018 Nissan Rogue. This is the SL all-wheel drive version of it. Apologize about the wind, got a little storm in the mountains. It's kind of trying to mess us up today. But with that being said, we're going to go on a quick walk around. What's new for 2018? Optional Pro Pilot Assist is now available. We'll talk about that in a little bit more. Standard CarPlay and Android Auto. Rogue went through a redesign, I believe it was last year, and really revamped a lot of the features that were on this vehicle. So pretty much last year, or this year is the same as last year. This is the SL, which is the top trim level. You've got the hybrid, the S, the SV, and the SL. The SL is going to give you, with a lot of what comes else, or comes standard, I should say, on the SV, um, includes 18-inch wheels, automatic high beams, high beams, fog lights, leather upholstery, heated steering wheel, driver memory, a 360 degree surround view camera system, navigation, and a nine speaker Bose system. You'll see here, this has also got some roof racks on it, which is a really great feature. Um, I'm not sure, I don't even think that's an option. Opening up the front here, one thing you will notice is this beautiful tan leather portion seats. It's, it's a quilted, quilted leather, I should say, insert, which is beautiful, it's fantastic. It looks great, that's part of an option, but it's. It's the Platinum Reserve interior option, which is $250. I personally love it, I think it's a great feature. As you go inside the cabin, so it's been a little bit redesigned um, in terms of years past. One thing you are gonna note, Walt, and I'm gonna get on this other side and show you on the steering wheel here, folks, is this button right here. This is the Pilot Pro Pilot Assist button. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that, but I just wanted to point it out because it's something you're gonna be seeing more and more of. You've got dual climate controls, heated seats, heated front seats for both. Um, you've got an auto hold feature for your brakes. I'm sure Walt's gonna show you the sunroof. Side note, that is his favorite part of any vehicle that we do review. So just so you know, if you always get that view, it's because of Walt. He makes me do that. Again, all wheel drive, the heated steering wheel. All of these are great features. Sport mode, eco mode, automatic up down right here. I'm gonna open this back area for you so you can get a view. Again, 90 degree door essentially opening. So a nice wide opening there, which is really great. As you get in here, again, just an overall great, honestly, just a really nice, well apportioned vehicle. It's comfortable here in the back seat, which is great. A few other features. That panoramic moonroof and LED headlights are part of the premium package, $1,820. The Platinum package, I forgot to mention this, gives you 19 inch wheels, so I apologize, 19 inch wheels, electric parking brake and parking brake and pro, pro pilot assist for $790, and then floor mats, cargo area protector with that. So again, that's what it gives you. I do actually have a sheet that I'm gonna show you. Um, that's a great feature. What else is new in 2018? The available pro pilot assist, which is essentially Nissan's hands-on approach to driver assist technology, helps ease, dri helps ease driver fatigue and stress an updated infotainment system which works fantastic i encourage you to try that out and as we open up the back trunk here um, you also got the amazon alexa skill compatibility through nissan connect services so you can actually ask amazon alexa so real quick some of you say whoa what do you guys got going on here well this is some of the features of the nissan rogue so if you actually got um a compartment or i'm going to say your rear trunk area um customization factor in I guess is what it's gonna be so this is actually from back here you can see you've got a first aid kit down there I'll actually pull that out a little bit well a spot for our snow bush brush is really nice but this is some secret compartment storage so you can put permanent stuff down here extra stuff maybe you're at a ball game or something and you want to store some valuables you can do that or and I'm gonna do this with actually one hand ah, make sure I can get this down correctly sorry one hand a little bit difficult we slide it forward like this, sorry, and then put it down like that. And now, so you're gonna make fun of my view, that's okay. <laughs> so now you've got your fold flat floor, which is nice. And again, you still have your ability to access your back storage there or your front storage right here. So really some, some great features. And then obviously you got a privacy screen availability that you can do and you can fold down your front seat. It's still a 60-40 rear folding seat but you can fold it down for cup holders a couple things or a couple last things to note in terms of cargo capacity 32 cubic feet back here i'm not sure if that's including down here or not I, I believe it is and 70 cubic feet with everything folded flat which is a really great feature in my opinion um oh real quick i do Walt's pointing this out to me so this is the pro pilot assist normally i don't do this but i want you guys to be able to have this 
If you want to pause it, you're more than welcome. So we're going to kind of try to keep it as still as we can, but you can pause it and zoom in on it. Basically, this, this just gives you all of the, what the Pro Pilot Assist essentially can do. So in talking about that, and Walt, thanks for reminding me on that, basically this car will steer itself. We'll stop and go. We'll go and stop and go traffic with you. Um, it's supposed to ease your driving. We'll turn you around corners. It's not a hands-off. It's called hands-on. Let me want to make sure I get this right here. Um, is the hands-on approach to driver assist technology. And basically, the reason they're saying that is they don't want you taking your hands off because it's not fully autonomous. It'll yell at you and tell you to put your hands back on it or it'll disable it and start to slow the vehicle down that sort of thing so again as we come along really like this vehicle i, I like what nissan's done they've really pushed the rogue uh the star wars movie came out last year i think it was rogue one or maybe it was a couple years ago this vehicle as it sits thirty six thousand five hundred and twenty dollars it's pretty much as decked out as you can go albeit a couple minor options on it but for the most part decked out runs fantastic at our altitude with one major exception and that is the cvt transmission it's got 100 and i want to make sure i got this right 170 horsepower underneath the hood two and a half liter four cylinder but the cvt just does not want to get up and go so you've really got to plan ahead with this vehicle it's not necessarily a bad thing fuel economy is great 25 and 32 for an average of 27 we've been able to average 29 it really works well, it's just that CVT takes a while to ramp up, and for those of you that are familiar with it know it's just not an instantaneous acceleration. So it's just something that takes a little bit getting used to. Not something that would necessarily prohibit me from buying this car, but just something when you're comparing this versus competitors, to keep in mind it is the only transmission available. Um, one other thing I will note, I do have a child seat in here. The latches are way back in the seat, so they were a little bit hard to get to, but once I was able to do that, it fit well. Very easy rear-facing child seat. Was not much of an issue for the front seat passengers. Um, so with that being said, like this car, two thumbs up from us. It's a great buy, it's a great value, it's a Nissan. It's gonna run for an awful long time, I will say that. And again, they've done a tremendous job in updating their infotainment system, over, and then that ProPilot Assist technology is really gonna kind of advance um, the, the the future, I guess I'm just bringing the future now, I should say. So with that being said, head to your local Nissan dealer, test drive this vehicle, um, get your family in it, and when you do that, let them know that John and Richard Rush from Drive Radio sent you.